and welcome back to yet another exciting episode of Wrath of the Lamb. We still only have Isaac so far. I'll definitely try to get some more characters unlocked. For now, we will start in the cellar. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Oh god! Oh my god. Okay. Well, at least uh, those troll bombs allowed me to get this stuff. And that's a nice item right here. Homing shots. If only I could get piercing shots in addition, that would be a nice combination. Okay. Uh, oh! Right, they can jump. No, not good. Okay. They can jump really far. Let's uh, let's do the boss first. Salmon. That shouldn't be so bad. Come on. There we go. Nope, we don't. Come on, come on. I really need to deal more damage. Do not have a damage upgrade yet. And I keep getting hit. Pathetic. Alright. As you can see, Famine can destroy his own flies, and he can spawn a new fly type, I just noticed. Incredible. Oh, I'm really in trouble now. Well, that was pathetic. Let's restart. Uh, so this is the normal basement. I'll probably have an easier start here. Right. Now let's take out this guy first, and maybe I can use the other guy to try and find the secret room or something. The grey ones always have bombs in them. Well, like the dark grey ones, while the light grey ones uh, do not. Okay, go over there. Ah, uh, it's too much, too much of a bother. Just blow up. Thanks. Right, so there's a... There's a cursed room, as they're called. I may actually go in there. Probably after fighting the boss, though. Oh, Gem of the Vampire. This item is... It's a bit useful, but uh, there are better ones. Basically, every 13, I think? 13 enemies you kill, you get half a heart. So you get a steady but very slow recharge of regular health, which can be useful, especially in the later levels. But... Uh, I don't know. Not exactly the best one. We're gonna try to use this pill here, just in case it's a bomb pill. No, it's not. Pretty fly is also very awesome. Just like the cube of meat, this thing can block uh, missiles. And it can deal damage, although I think it can only deal damage to, uh, to other flies. So let's first do the boss, and then we will go into the curse room. Monster. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Well, I think I said a similar thing about famine just now, and uh, yeah, look where that got me. God damn it. Okay. Whoa, no. Okay. Oh, he can puke really far when he wants to. Okay. We should be about done. Whoa, that was close. Come on, come on. Take a hit. There we go. 
we have just unlocked Monstrous Tooth, which is a uh, an item where you make Monstro crash down on you, or rather on an enemy, which deals a ton of damage. It's uh, similar to the High Priestess Tarot card, actually. <laughs> Although, um, here's hmm. up. Although it, it recharges, so you can use it several times, which is useful. Okay, well, I guess we'll bomb our way in here and get the half heart and whatever's in here. It's a tarot card, the devil. Uh, that one gives us increased damage, which can be useful. No, but I'm gonna waste one more bomb. Maybe we are lucky. So up or down, up or down. Well, I'm gonna go down because uh, I did not see an entrance to the secret room from the curse room. If you remember, we should be able to see those. Oh wow, I got a ton of money. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bomb my way into the, the shop. And... Yeah, buy this thing. And buy this thing. Alright, prayer card gives me one half eternal heart. Now, if my theory, or rather hypothesis, is correct, this half eternal heart should turn into a proper heart when we leave this level. So let's see what happens. Okay. And he jumps down. Oh. And yes, it did happen that way. That's excellent. I still have not figured out what this strange room does. I'm guessing you have to hurt yourself a lot of a lot of times to, I don't know, unlock something. But so far I have not oh, done so often enough, clearly. These guys are like super hoppers, because they can uh, jump all over the place much farther than, uh, than usual hoppers. Okay. There we go. And I'm a bit paranoid, so we're gonna blow that up as well. Okay. Well. Oh. No, 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 no. You stay over there, and I'm gonna stay over here. Right. Okay. Let's go into the item room and see what we have here. Ah. Ipecac. Once again, we have massive explosion power. And I will see if maybe there's even the secret room. I don't even know if we can use those to bomb our way into the secret room, but it would make sense. And that right there was the charm of the vampire, in case you're curious. Oh, hitting stuff is hard. Okay, there we go. Hmm, this item might actually be a problem later on. But we can bomb our way into the secret room, so that's quite useful, I believe. Okay, where to go? Hmm. Let's go here. It's another secret room! And a bunch of flies inside the chest. Well, that's nice. Whoa! Whoa! No, 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 no! These are bomber dudes. That's awful. Oh god! Well, guess it worked out fine in the end, but uh, that wasn't exactly how I had planned it. Right. Let's go. Whoa, no. No, 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 no. Stay away, please, no! Oh, God. Ah, this is a bad situation. I can't really hit right in front of me. Okay, let's blow this guy up. Ah, come on. This is ridiculous. I need to get some distance. I can't seem to. Come on. 
Sorry about that. I don't really know what to do, what else to do. Or rather, I have a plan. So that, that's what we're gonna do now. It's total overkill, but uh, I guess I have to do it. There we go. Ridiculous. Okay. Uh, yeah, let, let's go for the boss, I suppose. And it's Pin. Remember correctly, he is not too difficult. He's basically a mini Skolex. Yeah. I still have to hit him, though. It's weird how difficult it is simply because of the high range that this attack has. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, I hit him at least once. Well, that's something. Ow. There we go. And we get a health up. And if I got this correctly, once I use the prayer card, I will get another health container. So we are going in here. Blow up the aggressive fire. Hmm. I don't think I need either of those. I deal plenty of damage and the Ouija board will not help me, I think. So let's leave. And use the prayer card and jump down. Already saw that one. And indeed, we get another health container. This is quite abusable, I think. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Oh, god damn it. I wish I had normal tears at this point, actually. Okay. Well, there's nothing here. Maybe there's something up here. Nope. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think I can... I can use my Ipecac here. No. Okay, well, maybe we'll be back for this when I find enough keys. I like some kind of artillery here. And while I can use it to, uh, to hit enemies from afar quite well, hitting them from close up is really tough. The Empress, well, hmm. both of them increase your damage, so I don't really know which one is the better choice here. Whoa, I just blew myself up. No, get away! Ugh. Okay, now I got this small rock, and... Okay, my, my bullets are still green, whatever. Let's use this pill. Friends till the end. We got more flies. Well, that's nice. In fact, we are going to go back to the treasure room first before we deal with this enemy. And we'll see about this. And we get a Ouija board for free. I don't think it'll actually do anything since uh, this bullet arcs around like that anyway. No secret room there, apparently. Hmm. Might be here, though. Let's try it. Yeah, so, so while the Ipecac is very powerful, I, I fear it is uh, a bit difficult to use properly. Oh, that, that worked. Now, I don't know how many rooms are left, but I'm gonna use the prayer card right now. Just in case. Oh! Mini Greed! One of them is dead. Oh, come on. There we go. It's a very different uh, style of, uh, of shooting your bullets. But where's the secret room? There should be one. Somewhere. I'm, I'm quickly gonna check everywhere. Of course we cannot enter this challenge room because uh, we do not have full health or the equivalent. If I had one more eternal heart, I probably would also be able to enter the challenge room. 
at least that's how it works with, with soul heart. So you don't need to have full red hearts, you just need to have uh, the equivalent of full red hearts. Okay, well, this will be an interesting artillery battle, which we won. Okay. They do not have a key for this. Where's the secret room? Let's try over here. No. I do know... I did check, and, and unless I'm going crazy, using the epic hack should work to bomb my way into the secret room. So clearly I have not found the proper location yet. Usually um, they are... Usually they are surrounded by, say, three other rooms or so. But that doesn't always hold true, like it is the case here. And we are back in what I call the chapel. And we get Magdalene. Excellent. And this is another secret room. Uh, the Yamhat is Magdalene's basic, basic item, so there's nothing special about that. Let's use it once, and then we'll blow it up. Because I intend to... Uh, and we get a child's heart. Well, that's nifty. Uh, because I intend to keep some of my money uh, for the next shop, which we may encounter. Let's go to the boss now. And it's the hollow again. So this is the diagonal Larry Jr. Not too worried, except when I blow myself up. No, oh, go away. Okay, so far so good. Ow. Oh. Well, I made it a lot more difficult than it should have been. Stem cells? Health up. Okay. That's freaky. And I hope we can grab this on the way down. Now, I will never have enough health to go to the challenge room, so let's just go down. And we already saw that one. Child's Heart. I wonder if the Child's Heart also gave me more health. I, I'll have to check on the video. Because I have a lot of health right now. Okay, fistulas. Those should not be too problematic. Ooh. Unless you get cornered like an idiot. Or walk into the maggots yourself. You know, I'm not a fan of Ipecac. It's powerful, of course, but uh, it's so difficult to use. Maybe if I get a bit of, you know, training with it, maybe then I will enjoy it more. Ah. Yeah, that was lucky. What's that? Wheel of Fortune. Uh, well, considering I already deal so much damage, it's probably not a problem to leave behind the Devil card. Maybe we will make good use of the slot machine later on. Uh huh. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna use it. Probably regret it, but there should be plenty more rooms to recharge the card once more, so I can. Uh, so I can use it uh, before going down a level. Who knows, maybe I'm not getting hit again for now. Well, it's looking badly right now. What's that? The chariot. Well, that's actually more powerful. Uh -huh. I could use it to get in there, of course. Okay, let's, let's, let's keep going for now. Right? No! Oh, I lost my spirit head. Blowing myself up. Uh, eternal heart, rather. Alright. Well, hopefully I can recharge the card before fighting the boss. Let's use this thing. I don't really know what it can do. I know that it released a uh, spirit heart once, and it can. Oh, it's the Two of Clubs. No idea what that does. I'm guessing we'll we'll take that with us. And there's a safety cap. I think the child's heart is probably better. Let let's see. I don't know what this child heart does. Hmm. But I will stick with it for now. I have plenty of keys now, so I should be able to go to the treasure room and to the shop. And 
uh, let us use the two of clubs. What did that do? I don't know. Maybe nothing. And we get what looks like an infectious bomb. I already have infectious bombs. Bob's curse plus five poison bombs. Okay. If you remember Bob's rotten head from the main game, I guess this is the same diseased Bob. Let's see if he has the secret room. Nope, it is not. Maybe it. I mean, another secret room. After all, there are plenty of secret rooms now, rather than just the one. Okay, not here. Sometimes the the Ithacac projectile seems to flow uh, to, to fly above uh, rocks, and sometimes it doesn't. I, I'm not quite sure how that works. But we'll just keep trying, I suppose. Oh, it's a mini boss, and it's Envy. I don't really like Envy. Uh huh. But well, might be relatively easy with this one because I have powerful area of attack. Damage. Whoa! Stay away. Please. Okay, although hitting the small ones will be a bit more difficult. Okay. Three more. One more. And we got it. And the entire. <laughs> The entire room is full of full of pew, isn't that nice? Whoa. Yep. I hate those fires. Come on. Right, one more. If you have any idea how to properly, you know the epicac attack so I don't have to get so much distance between myself and the enemies let me know please okay we got another prayer card hmm there probably aren't too many rooms left so um, I'm not gonna use it now I'm gonna use it after the boss fight yeah it's probably the way to go and there are Costules, little ones that fire the red globules now as well. Those red ones are, if you remember, they are from the main game as well, although these are mobile, so that's new. Well, that was helpful. I hate those spiders, so I'm very glad. Uh, get away, please. Okay. One more. Shouldn't be too hard. If I can hit it. Which I apparently cannot do. There we go. Alright. Let's go to the shop. And we can get the Holy Grail. I really like that item. Ah, uh, goddamn fire. Because now I can fly. Excellent. Let us quickly pick up this heart, why not? And then we'll go to the boss and then we will activate, of course, the prayer card so we will get another life container. And it's the husk, okay. Well, he's a bit more difficult than the Duke of Flies, but I'm not too worried. And he doesn't have too much health, obviously. Uh, okay, that's, that's working quite well, actually. There we go. Now let's pick up the spirit hearts. Uh, what's that again? Mom's coin purse. Well, why are there pills in the coin purse? I don't know. Cheers up. Should allow us to shoot faster. Bad guys. I don't want that. Friends till the end. Sure. And another friends till the end. Sure. 
There we go. We have a real halo of light now. Now let's use the prayer card and go down. Ah, still the same one. And another heart container. This is very, very useful, if you ask me. Okay, so these are the depths rather than the necropolis. I should be okay in here. I hope. Though I should not be too cocky about it either. This might not work out after all. No, that was stupid. No, that was doubly stupid. So I guess it does not fly above the rocks after all. Alright, uh, I'm not gonna open this chest yet. Because first I want to check maybe the shop and definitely the item room. Whoa! No, 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 no. Stay away. Ah, God. No. <laughs> I would be much more liberal about my uh, my Ipica gear if I weren't so scared of killing myself with it. <laughs> yeah, I was already wounded. So it didn't matter. God, I'm so sucking at this. Ugh. Get away. Go. So now we have a bunch of maggots to deal with. Luckily we still have Charm of the Vampire, which may really come in handy. Because this kind of weapon is very prone to self-destruction. And there's the High Priestess, alright. Oh, it's a Wheel of Fortune. It's... it's uh... It's one of those. Ask again later, okay. Well, let's ask now. Look to La Luna. Don't know if that does anything. Some more money. Right. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna save my the rest of my money for now. Maybe I'll go to the shop. Yeah. Here we go. That was one of the champions. And now they're dead. Okay. Not too bad, actually. I have to remember that I can fly, so I can uh, actually get out of here. And I'm not bound by the laws of gravity at all. Okay. And neither am I bound by... oh god. Neither am I bound by, by those spikes, of course. What's that? It's a tooth toothbrush, is it? Matchstick? I don't know. I don't know. Let, let's take the matchstick. And another treasure room with more pills. Okay, what's that? Telepill. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna use the other telepill as well. Maybe it'll take us somewhere interesting. Oh, I'm so stupid. Uh, mini boss room. Look at that, I cannot hit him. Right, so there are plenty of rooms left. So I'm gonna use the prayer card now, even though it's probably a waste. Uh, I'm not gonna use this. Hopefully, it'll recharge in time! God, no! Ah. And it's gone. The simplest of flies become such a big obstacle in this game when you have Ipecac. Come on. Right. Not a key. Hmm. Oh. Thanks for that.
Yeah, let's go in and see. Eh, that's great. Awesome. Well, that was easy enough, actually. Steam sale. So in the next level we will, of course, be going to the shop. Hopefully it won't be uh, greed again. I think that can actually happen, but it's probably rare. Still not gonna open this door. I will destroy this one. And we will play the other one when we turn back there. Not gonna open this one either. Kamikaze. I don't want that. Although I'm gonna pick it up so it registers in my collection. Uh, this one basically you can use it as often as you want to blow stuff up with. Unfortunately blowing stuff up costs a heart or at least half a heart or something like that. So it's really wasteful. I hate it. But for completion's sake we picked it up and immediately dropped it again of course. Oh. Now I may actually be running out of rooms to fight in so maybe this was a bad idea. Uh, I may not be getting an extra heart container upon leaving this level after all. You will die alone, okay. You are throwing your life away, great. I'm gonna play it till I have 7 cents. Don't leave the house today. Well, I have to, later on. Question authority, I always do. Give up, no. Tarot card, okay. Hero fund. Well, that was worth it. And more bombs, which I probably won't be using. Two more solar hearts. That's very, very good. Maybe we will get a bit further down this time around than in the earlier videos. Even though Ithikak is not just helpful, but also quite the uh, quite a threat to myself. No, like that. Okay. So I need to fight in two more rooms, so if that next one is a fighting room, I should be getting... Yes, I will! I will be getting another heart container upon finishing this level. So that's something to look forward to. There we go. Let's, uh, let's fly in here. Open it and leave. And fly back in. Nothing much, but not bad either. Considering I didn't have to fight. There's something over here? No. Okay, let's let's just do it. Monstro 2. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Oh no. Whoa, that was... Whoa, that, that was very lucky on my part. No, whoa. Don't do this, Monstro, don't do it. It's supposed to be easy, don't you remember? Yeah, and I knock him into my own path like that. Great. I don't really like it, okay. But we do get another hard container, so that's quite awesome. What do we have? We have laser. You know what? I'm gonna pick it up because I'm not too happy with with Ipecac. Yeah, let's pick that up. Look at the breadth of that laser beam. I think this one will do a ton of damage. Right, let's go out, let's use the prayer card and jump down. That is an interesting one. Very grim and foreboding, if you don't know the story. Well, to be fair, uh, it might not. It there's a lot of interpretations going around regarding the actual story. So, this is Jesus Juice, we want that, but we don't want to have to fight! So, bye bye. Look at that laser, incredible. Alright, uh, there you go. Um, why don't you die? There you go. Thanks. And a fork. Okay. I don't know. I'll take it. I'll have to check up on the wiki if, in case anybody already figured out what some of these items do. But uh, most of, of these trinkets don't seem to do any visible uh, effects. So. And that was very pathetic. Okay. Uh, oh, it's a dove, is it? I'm guessing. 
Picking up dead dove. Guess it allows me to fly since I kind of got a, a ghost body, but I already could fly, so not that useful. Ah, excellent! The compass. We will need this if we ever make it deeper than before. And we could now simply go to the boss room. Hmm. Is there anything else I even want? Might not want to. Uh, I hope that uh, that Edmund McMillan and Florian Hensel change the graphic for trinkets on the map. Because right now it looks like there's a tarot card in that room. Even though there isn't. Hmm. And yes, I can simply hide over the ravine, which is very nice, of course. Not that it's really necessary with these enemies. And there's an axe rock here. Oh. Ow. Well, I'm definitely not going for a zero damage run, but... Uh, so that's what the poisonous bombs look like. Interesting. Ah, some money. Nothing worth picking up. I'm gonna have to use those poison bombs. Maybe on a boss in the future. Come on. No! Not like that. Alright. And Charm of the Vampire is actually helping quite a bit. So it's time for mom again. This should not be too difficult. Ah, that didn't work. Come on, I want to see it in action. Never mind then. Do this the old-fashioned way. With lasers, which is very old-fashioned. Come on, blow up. I'm getting hit far too much. Go away, please. Thank you. Well, this should be it. Ow. What is that? That's something new as well. Magic 8 ball. Tears up. Okay. Another prayer card use, of course, and we go down to the womb or utero. We already saw that one. So, this one is called the womb. So, I suppose, uh. Utero really is the alternative, which is kind of stupid because uterus just means womb as well. But, uh, okay. People speculated about uh, what. Well, people speculated about what the alternative to the womb would be, stuff like the intestines and, and whatnot. Instead, it's just another word for uterus. Well, I don't know about that. Two of spades. Well, you know what? We are gonna take the two of spades, but not before blowing this stuff up. Ah, uh, I don't want money. I had hoped for some health in there, but oh well. Ow. Okay. I have a pretty good feeling about this run, despite all the hits I'm taking. And it's death. Well, this might be a problem. Let's use the two of spades, and I have no idea what that did. Okay. Oh no, he freezes me. I just have to avoid them. That isn't too difficult. Now comes the more difficult part, where he starts summoning zombies. Although with the laser, it shouldn't be a problem, because it too should pierce, actually. 
Alright, and just a horse left. Well, that was easier than expected! Die already, please. Come on. You can do it. Yeah. Alright, so we get another cube of meat. Unfortunately, we did not pick any other cubes of meat up before. This is gonna be it, I'm afraid. Oh well. Um, and I am going to explore three more rooms so I can get another heart container. It is risky, but I hope it'll pay off. Uh, unless they changed it in the in the add-on, you can only have 12 heart containers anyway. So, doing this should enable me to get the maximum of regular health. You can always get more... Uh, you can always get more spirit hearts or soul hearts. Telepills, well this could be interesting later on. You can always get more more soul hearts than 12, but uh, the, the main life bar ends at 12. Okay, one more. Just one more room. Okay. Well, my laser was obviously more powerful than the eye's laser. So now we got everything we wanted. Uh, the compass is showing me that there's a mini-boss in that secret room there. Unless they changed it, that's always greed, and I really have no intention of fighting greed right now. So let's just uh, go to the boss room, use the prayer card, and jump down. There we go. And there we are, full regular life. How do we get to the boss room? Hmm. We may also want to go to the arcade anyway, so I'm gonna go to the left. We could just trick him into walking on the spikes, but uh, there's this turret there, which I don't want to offend with my presence, so I'm not gonna go there. Well, no, 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 stay away. Stay away. Well, I can fly, he can, so... There we go. That was a, a dead end, though. So I'm guessing that the Eternal Hearts will from now on simply function as Soul Hearts. Since I already have maximum health. That will be interesting to see. <laughs> Chain reaction, oh my god. Okay. Okay, so spiders can show up in a normal room now as well. Which kind of makes me wonder, I if the new enemies can show up in a regular room, what's the difference to the utero then? Since uh, the utero also has the new monsters. Oh well. Let's, uh, let's use these guys a little bit. Now the tricky thing is that uh, everything in this level does twice damage, including the blood bank. Now luckily a heart dropped there, so I'm gonna use it once. And we get a sad onion? That's awesome, but didn't know that could even happen. We should be able to shoot much faster now. Very good. Let's just use all our money, uh, because shops will no longer show up from here on out anyway. Oh, and I just noticed we are actually in utero, so maybe I was talking out of my ass. And the uh, spiders cannot show up in the room. Honestly, don't know. And another telepill, well... Nah! Oh, we get to play a little more. I hope this isn't too boring, but uh, it's it's really useful. At least often it's useful. Okay. No, thank you. I would really like him to just give me the 
the the turd, so I can uh, leave here. But uh, yeah, there's the turd. Maybe we'll get it this time. Nope. No luck. And another heart. Of course, the blood bank already blew up. So. And the blood bank actually looks like a destroyed slot machine, as I just noticed. Huh. I think that is not how it used to be. In nine more cents, we should be getting close to the end of this now. Of course, as always, feel free to skip a little bit ahead. If it's too boring, I'm gonna do this right. If I don't do anything else right in this game. There we go. Okay. Five more. Unless he gives me money, of course. Nope. Not particularly lucky right about now. Okay, a key. <laughs> Hopefully this will be the last one now. No, there's money here, so it might not be. Maybe this will be the last one. Yeah, clearly. Alright, well, I'll, I'll blow you up now. And get some more bombs, and I guess we'll use the telepills, why not? Sure, okay. Ah, I can hide up here, that's good. He can, uh, or rather, it cannot get here, so... I have really no excuse to get hit on this room. There we go. So I'm not now gonna use the prayer card to maybe give me a little buffer. Honestly don't know if that's how it works, but I hope it is. Alright. So far so good. Another tarot card, the tower. Uh, it just places random bombs. I guess I'll take it with me, of course, but uh, not that useful. There's a curse room up there, but I really don't want to go there. Oh my god, what, the, what? No! What the hell? These are like Gerties, but mini Gerties. I'm gonna hide here. Yeah. Oh. Damn, she's fast. Uh, okay. Did not expect that. Okay then. <laughs> Crazy. Laser duel, and I got hit a few times. So I'm sorry about this, but I will go back a little bit and uh, make sure to pick up that heart because I want to be at maximum health when I encounter the boss. You know, you're wondering what boss is this? Well, you'll see. As you already know the game, of course, and unless they changed it. But considering the mom boss fight is the same, I'm guessing this one will be the same also. Yes, it is. Mom's heart. And only when you actually defeat this boss does it count as an actual mom kill. Now, a good idea is to use your bomb to kill the enemies that she spawns immediately. And I also got poison damage, so that's quite a nice combination. And she should be going down very quickly. Alright, uh, one more bomb should do it, and I'll keep fighting, fighting my laser as well. There we go. Alright. Now the thing is, I could go in here. In fact, I'm gonna go in here and show you something. Okay, we, we just unlocked a new item and a new character, Judas. Excellent. Now we could go down here to the next level. Hmm. We already unlocked Judas and and his items, so I guess we'll do it. Yeah, let's. Why not? Let let's let's go further. Let's go further. Let's try it. And this is the last level of the game, at least on this path. This is the original 
Last level, Shion. Or Shion. Ow. Strangely, there's no music here. Usually, there's a very spooky tune. I don't really know what's happening there. Ah, God. Okay, let's get to the boss as quickly as we can. Oh, that is clearly not the way. Please die. Come on, please. No! I can't believe I'm failing like this after such a great run. Alright. So is this even the right path? I don't know. This might be. Okay. Tears up. Oh, that's always nice, I guess. We can shoot faster now. Why is there new music here? I don't understand that. There's a next rock here as well, so let's blow both of these stuff up. Some more soul hearts, which will come in very handy. Especially since I lost so many of my regular hearts. Okay. Ah. And these are the heads of the Headless Horseman, which is another type of horseman which we have not encountered in this let's play so far. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna try it, because there's really no point otherwise. Let's go. There's no chance I can uh, recharge on health. Why is there no music at this point? Okay, let's place a bomb here. Ah, too early. And we have to fight another one of these demons, unfortunately. But if you get the pattern down, it shouldn't be too hard. Fortunately, I kind of forgot about those details. And I hope we can get a win here, because otherwise I'm gonna be very sad. L wasting all my soul hearts, unfortunately. But if I can get past this guy, maybe I can actually... can actually beat Satan. There we go. So that is the final boss in his first phase. We're gonna have to try and avoid his bullets. And other means of attack. So far so good. Not too bad, actually. Uh, and I say that as I get hit. Alright, the last phase. Hopefully we can do it. Why is there no music? Here you go. Have a bomb. Okay. Now, the most dangerous thing is, quite frankly, the bomb fly... The, 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 the Northern Lion calls some bomb flies. I don't... I think they are bomb leeches, actually. But, uh... If you stay on the move, then Satan will not hit you with his feet. So, just keep on moving. Right. Uh, ow. Okay. Yeah, I, I I made the mistake of moving in the wrong direction. And we did it. Oh, that's awesome. We just finished the game. At least the regular game. We still have to, of course, play through with all of the other characters. And, of course, also play through the alternate ending, which I have not unlocked yet. Still, let's open this chest and see what's inside. We unlocked a number of new items and characters for the next episode. Now, thinking back to that load screen, you may probably see why I'm. Yeah, I, I mean that ending was very, very scary if you put everything together. 
Well, we got two mum kills, 14 deaths, and our first Satan death, which is N11. Now there's a new room for N12, of course, which is the one we still need to unlock. The collection is slowly growing. Yeah. Okay, so that was a very successful run in my opinion, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will see you in the next episode. So, see you then, folks. Bye!